Hello students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting video, I would like to tell you something. Please sit with copy pen. If you find somewhere important, pause the video, note it and proceed on. If you find somewhere difficulty, then please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Now here is the question. A uniform sphere of mass capital M and radius capital R exerts a force capital M on a small mass small m situated at a distance of 2 capital R. From the center O of the sphere, a spherical portion of diameter capital R is cut from the sphere as shown in the figure. The force of attraction between the remaining part of the sphere and the mass small m will be. Here we have given four options. Option A 7f by 9, Option B 2f by 3, Option C 4f by 9, Option D f by 3. Now, according to the question, we have given a big sphere having the mass is capital M, radius is R, and another point object which having the mass small m, which is 2R distance away from the center of this big sphere and to the point object mass m. Okay, so let us first we have to calculate the force of attraction between the big sphere and this point object. So here G capital M small m and what is the distance? That is distance is given to R. Fourth square that is F equal to G capital M small m 4 R square. Okay. Given the equation number first. And whenever it is cut down, whenever it is cut down, then what is the change of this force of attraction? So let us first we have to find out so what is the force of attraction between the this sphere and this sphere. Okay, so what is the mass? Let us first we have to need the mass. So how we can calculate the mass? Let the mass capital M is the mass per unit volume. So M by 4 by 3 pi capital R2. This is mass per unit volume of this big sphere. But we have to calculate this mass of this body. So, what is the volume 4 by 3 pi and what is the radius? It is the diameter. Here, given that that is total r is the diameter. So, what is the radius? r by 2. So, here r by 2 whole cube. Is it clear? I repeat it again. We have to find out the mass of this body. So, how we can calculate? We have given this is total mass of this sphere. So, let us first we have to find out mass per unit volume. This is mass per unit volume multiply of this volume. So, we get only mass of this sphere. So, 4 by 3 pi, 4 by 3 pi cancel out m by r cube into r cube by 8. So, r cube r cube cancel. Then, mass of this sphere that is m by 8. Okay. Now, we have calculated. The again force of attraction between this body and this body. So F we can calculate given the name F dash. Okay. And G, what is the mass of this sphere? M by 8. And mass of this body that is M. And what is the distance between this point to this point? It is very important. Total distance, this is distance given that 2r, this is r by 2, subtracting then 2r minus r by 2, 2 to the 4, 4 minus 1, 3 by 2. So 3 by 2r whole square. Then how much? F dash equal to g m small m by 8, t square means 9, r square. And 2 square that is 4. So here 4. So 4 ones are 4, 4 to the 8. Then f dash equal to g m small m and uh, 9 to the 18 r square. It is equation number second. Okay. Now we have calculate the force of attraction of this body. How you can calculate f original f minus f dash. Then remaining force of attraction. So here we have calculated F double dash. So what is F? 
we have already calculated g capital m small m by 4r square minus g capital m small m upon 18r square taking the lcm 36r square 4 9 36 and uh, 2 gm small m then how much that is 7 g capital m small m upon 36 r square now it can rearrange 7 g m small m now it can be written as 4 9 za 36 so 4 r square and it is 9 okay now let's see here g m m 4 r square that is f so here whole value is that is f so our new force of remaining body that is 7 by 9 f okay i hope so you understood this question thank you for staying till the end of this video definitely when you will become success full contribution goes to your hard work but if my videos my lectures my questions will help in your success i will consider myself lucky please like share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students thank you once again take care bye bye